Hello and welcome to My Security TV. My name's Chris Cubbage and we're filming from the Duxton Hotel in Perth at SecAU's Cyber Resilience Conference, now in its second year. I'm kindly joined by Professor Craig Valley, uh, who is Head of School at SecAU at the Research Centre. Craig, thanks very much for joining us. Thank you. Uh, Craig, second day, almost now in the afternoon of your conference. How have you found, uh, how's it all gone? It's gone very well this year again. Um, we've had a broad uh, sort of interest from academia, industry and also government. Um, and again, the papers are fairly diverse in terms of the whole notion of cyber resilience actually taking in the socio, the technical and the, and uh, those elements um, that combine to make, make a resilient system. A lot of people often just think it's a hardware and software solution. Uh, it isn't that, it's also looking very much at some of the human aspects of these systems. And resilience is really the, the key word. Yeah, look, uh, the, the thing, uh, the resilience is a key word. Most cyber systems these days will come under attack at some stage and it's how the organisation or the entity responds and makes that system survive and it's its resilience. It may actually get brought down but how quickly can it recover? Can it, uh, can it survive or still deliver uh, critical or minimal service under sustained attack? So these are the sort of issues that are covered in the conference. And from a trend change or new trends, uh, this is being a second year now. Yep. So from last year's conference and looking at this year's conference, papers and content, you seeing any change in trends or any greater sense of urgency? Or? Oh, there's a greater sense of urgency about the problem and that the, there's a lot more publicity around some of the major attacks with the LulzSec and the Anonymous currently. So that's getting profile and getting people to realise. But the, the problem has always been there. But um, yeah, there is a greater sense of urgency that we need to do something to address a lot of the issues that are in these systems. Um, and again, like I said, the human hard, hardware software and the combination of all three. And um, that, uh, it's not a simple solution. It, there, there is no silver bullet, there is no magic black box, although some software and hardware vendors would like you to believe that. It's an integrated solution because it, it is a very complex problem. Yep, and on various levels across government, industry, yeah, it's uh, a, and at a social level yeah, as well. Yeah, it's a problem we all have to own as a society. I, I got asked a question the other day at a workshop um, well, who's the most vulnerable and who's, who's, who's responsible? I said, well, first of all, we're all vulnerable and we're all, we're all equally responsible. I mean, th these are, you know, attacks will manifest themselves on national critical infrastructure, but that m attack may come from a home computer that's been compromised because of lax security. Now, you might be one in the 10,000 bots that get thrown at the gateway or whatever that brings down the national critical infrastructure. But then when that happens, for instance, when if the lights go out or the power stops, then we all have an interest in it. So, you know, we're all equally vulnerable. And I think one of the things this highlights, particularly the, the sort of propagation of this, the cyber world, I mean, it's growing almost geometrically in terms of services and a whole range of other stuff that's, that's running it. Um, we all have a stake in it and we're all very much interconnected and I think um, a lot of this stuff has actually shown that there's a lot more interconnection um, around uh, around us than, than we, we, we were aware of before. If anything, does the conference raise more questions or is it uh, aimed at make, uh, identifying some key solutions? I think it, it, it provides an avenue for both in terms of um, it, it raises some, some issues and some questions. Uh, the mal malware rebirthing botnet paper by Murray Brand yesterday raised a whole new Very set much. of issues if, if, if that comes up. Uh, there were some other ones in the, in the space, the human space, about what people are doing online to either radicalise or, or group together to attack these things. So all of these things are emerging issues. Some of them are, and some of them aren't. They're, they're sort of almost um, nascent and around us all the time now. And we have all have shifted from the, the physical world onto yeah. the online yeah. world, so it, it's yeah, well, human we, behaviour. We are starting to see kinetic effect uh, moving. Once upon a time, you know, and the lingua franca out there still is virus, and people still think virus, antivirus. It's moved well beyond that. You know, Stuxnet produced a kinetic effect uh, in the, in the space, and there's been other instances in the last two to three years that have spread, and, and that spread on the on the kinetic effect is where we're getting a lot of the issues, and uh, yeah. Conference uh, in 2012? Yes, it, same again. Uh, we're looking actually at the 16th and 17th of the July in 2012 uh, in Perth, 
Great. Uh, venue yet to be decided, but That's 16th and 17th of July in 2012. Great. Well, well done on another successful yeah. event. Thanks, Thank Craig. Appreciate Thank it. You. Thanks. Good